Okay, hey everyone. Uh, so I'm just here with Santo. Hey. And uh, this is the beginning of his property. And uh, we're going to drive in and he's going to tell us uh, about it. No, we can drive all the way to the end of the driveway here until it curves. And then we can walk down. Okay. Or we can take this curve up, which is where I live there. There's a building there. Mm -hmm. And we can start walking from there. Okay. So which which would you prefer? Uh, I guess some more walking. So let's go down there then. Okay. And, sure. uh, and then you can see the neighbor's cabin by the pond, which is beautiful. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I will uh, get it out the window. Yeah. And it'll also be cooler. Oh, okay. Okay. The line over here were also planted by machines. Oh, they're planted by machines. That's interesting. Yeah. Like my, that's that's the neighbor. This, this oh, okay. So, oh, okay. So this used to be an apple orchard. Mm -hmm. So the previous owner planted these pines. I would say about thirty years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's been thinned out. Every third row has been taken out. Oh, okay. To give it some breathing room, so. Mm -hmm. Other trees can grow, and those trees can get bigger, so we can get some oh, hardwood, okay, okay. hardwood trees growing in there. Okay. I'm hoping that the oak will start to go in there. Nice. Instead of the ash, because the ash are, are dying. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So the, there is the ash a, borer. There's a lot of elm in there that are okay. that are doing okay, but the elm are even you know, they have that Dutch elm disease, right? Oh, okay. So. Mm -hmm. So, so is, the, is that not your property? No, that's that's the neighbor's. Yes. That's the neighbor's property. That, oh, that's, that's there's a, a fence here? Or no, well, uh, there's uh, not really. A it's fence. an invisible fence. Yeah. There's an invisible yeah. fence. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. so that that was his uncle's cabin there. Okay. Uh, he was a trapper. So, oh, okay. But that's not the original one. The original one deteriorated. He just rebuilt it. Okay. So it matched exactly what the original one was, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he just has a generator in there. And, there's no electricity. He's only he only comes up once in a while. Oh, okay. okay. Just to read the paper, take it easy. Oh, okay. He's he's into birds, so. He, oh, okay. Yeah. Ornithology. Is that what? The bird, well, the bird watchers. watchers yeah. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. some good grapes there if you want to try some. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, well, we we can stop anywhere here and start walking. Yeah. But, okay. But sure. I would prefer to stop over there. Okay. Let let let's stop wherever you but want. If you want to try some grapes? This is the. Uh, it, it's just I still gotta get my shoes on. And... Oh, okay. Then there's, there's some grapes around the corner. Actually. Okay. All right. Yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love those grapes. I, I come here and yeah, I, that I, I looks put them great. in my yogurt or I put them in my cereal. Or That's I just awesome. Eat them That's a lot of grapes. Yeah. That's yeah, great. They really give you a charge. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They look, they look pretty big too. They, they have big seeds. Oh, they have big seeds as well. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, it's good, good source of oils. Yeah, I, I don't mind the seeds. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I mean, it's, it's, it's all edible. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, my friend of mine told me that they're poisonous. Seeds can get poisonous, but I think you have to eat a lot of them. Yeah, I, I don't know. I haven't heard anything like that. He says that most seeds are poisonous, but I don't I think know. In, in moderation. I don't know. I I, I think uh, your friend may not have done his research. <laughs> yeah, I, I know that uh, there, there are poisonous seeds. Cherry, wild cherry seeds are poisonous. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Specific yeah. ones are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there, there are a bunch of seeds that are poisonous, but grape yeah. seeds are not. Not, not one grape of them. seeds, no, because yeah. they make oil from it. Like yeah, what you were saying. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. So you have to go. The property goes like. I go straight down here. It's still my place where the fence line is right there. Okay. Right. So this is this is this is one four. Mm -hmm. when, when I first got this place, I got a, a forest consultant in here, uh -huh. and he went through the place with me. We went for a long walk, mm -hmm. and he said that I have uh, uh, six distinct forests here. So that, that's one of them there, another one here, and there's mm -hmm. another one in the front. And there's mm -hmm. another one back there, and another one to the side. Right. So oh, wow. You'll, you'll see them as we walk you'll see the difference in the the, mm -hmm. the trees treescape you know the yeah. canopy yeah so, so these here are tamaracks yeah yeah you know tamaracks yeah yeah they lose yeah. their leaves in they, the they lose winter. their needles they, they turn needles. yellow and they, yeah. they drop yeah yeah I, I love these trees uh -huh. I, i'd like to have them come over this way they're very soft right 
No, they're they're medium wood. They're oh, actually oh. better than cedar. Oh, I meant the leaves. <laughs> oh, the leaves are soft. Yeah. Yeah. And what's this? Soft. Is this tamarack too, or? Yeah, that's tamarack. So oh, they're nice. actually starting to go this way. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. There's, there's a few of them that have jumped over. Oh, okay. Nice. Right. So there's a few over there. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so the ones that I have marked with the pink ribbon, I'm, I'm cutting those trees. Oh, okay. Over the winter of. You know. mm -hmm. Yeah, it's usually the best. But we'll winter, come right? this way after. Okay. We'll save that because this is, takes us back to, to my place. Oh, okay. Okay, that's okay. cool. Okay. All so, right. so now we're going towards the towards the field. Mm -hmm. Nice. So when I first got this place. I never knew this existed. Oh, I, I, I the, bought it just on the fact that it had a shop there and there was big trees around it. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't even know about this. The, the, there was a, a, a road here? There, there was, but I didn't see it because it was grown in. Oh, I see. It was really tall oh, you, grass. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure, but okay. I just I just had a good feeling about the place and I got it within a week. Nice. nice. I just jumped out because I thought, oh, if it's going to go on the market, it'll be gone. So, so, it's going to go like on, online. It was, mm -hmm, gonna, it was mm -hmm. about to... Go oh, online, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So, so how much was it at the time in 04, uh -huh. 99,000. 99,000. Oh, yeah. that's a great deal. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what the current valuation is? I would say between four and five. Uh, four hundred thousand to five hundred thousand. I, I would oh, say. Oh yeah. Oh, what? Well, what are you? What's the? Usually, the property tax uh, gives you the oh, assessment. The assessment there. Oh, that's always lower, right? Well, no, it's, it's, usually it's it's higher. <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> that, that, then you can sell it on the market. No, it's usually no, it's usually lower. Yeah. Well, it well it's higher for for us in in it, Owen Sound. Is it? Yeah, in Owen Sound, oh. they always give well, you. In Toronto, it was it was always lower. Let's put it oh that really? Way. Yeah. Oh, because because they didn't do an assessment every year. They they did uh, it every once in a while. I don't know. In Owen Sound, maybe they just did it. Well, no, I th it's just that because um, they charge property tax based on the assessment, so they're I, motivated I, I, I to charge as high as they but, can. But but they have to do an assessment to to be able to oh, raise okay. your property tax, right? Uh, it's just yeah. the, the assessment, it's kind of based on like an average of uh, what properties go for. Yeah, but they don't always do it. They do it randomly. Yeah. yeah. They, so they so, so what, is the, what is the I think it's like 350 right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, I'm assuming it's worth about four. Just because of the extras that's on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I do have a solar system on, on my shop that's... Uh, oh, yeah. I guess that wouldn't... That increase. generates income, so... Okay. I guess because you, you built a house, right? Not really. I'll, I'll show you after. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> so, oh yeah. So you got some, these are autumn daisies mm -hmm. and goldenrod. These are great pollinators. And what kind do you have here? So this is, um. oh, this is knapweed. This one's actually invasive. Yeah. Um, but it's it's all over the place. Well, th th this has been disturbed. There, yeah, there yeah. There used to be some trees here, right? They got knocked down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, it, it likes to grow in disturbed soil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I plan to fill this in. Oh, okay. Because it is kind of dipping. Maybe with areas. some shrubs? Well, I'm going to... Or uh, quarter, what would you, I got a lot of thinking? pine trees that are laying down in, oh, the, okay. in that bush. So I'm going to throw it in there and fill it in. Like a corduroy road, right? Oh. So they de decompose and then they... Oh, so it will just be wood? Yeah, just throw it in the in the in the low spots, like oh, so, so it'll so be like in there, and then just put some oh, wood rocks, pile. rocks, and no, it'll just decompose, and, okay. you, and you can drive over it. Can, oh, okay, you know. okay. Oh, for the roads. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is fill. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. I see. Okay. It doesn't have to be like drivable on just to make it manageable. This is the road that main road. Oh, okay. Because to, to make it drivable, I got to put in fill, like on um, mm -hmm. B gravel, and it gets kind of pricey. Is it quite a bit mm -hmm. put in? So, so this is your field? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So uh, this is seven acres. Seven acres, eh? Uh, so, yeah. is is this the whole whole field yours? Does yeah. the property go that way? Or? No, it's still yeah. Uh, the whole field's mine. The property line's over there. See oh, where those okay. little hawthorn trees are there? Uh, the, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's and so that's my neighbors over there. They, they plant, uh, they put in soybeans this year. Oh, okay. They alternate soybeans and corn. Okay. So, okay. It's best that we go this way because we can come back this way after. Okay. Go that way. Sure, sure. So this this is what I was living in for about a year before I, you know, finished my place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's it's a. I'm trying to get rid of it. Nobody wants it because it's, oh. cause it's got uh, doesn't have much metal. Oh. It's just like a plywood, right? Oh, I see. So I'm gonna take some things out of it, like the fridge. Oh, okay. 
and uh, there's a um, generator that I can use. Okay. Uh, well, maybe. I, I guess you could use it as a as a cabin for people to stay in if if it's uh, if it doesn't a big, leak. Big hole in the middle and the and the front. Oh. The engine has been taken out. Oh, okay. So. Well, I see I see that hole that's that's over there, but that doesn't look that big. You really want to see it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, you mean at the front? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you got red clover over here. Yeah, that, that's good. Red clover and lots of dandelions. Clover is good. Yeah, yeah, dandelions also good. Oh, I see. Yeah, that is pretty big hole. Because we had to cut it open to get the engine out. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh... That's ugly. Oh, on the inside? The whole thing is ugly, don't you think? Well, I, no, I don't know. You like it? Well, it's not that I like it, but uh, I was just thinking that if it can be repurposed as a cabin, then it could be worthwhile. It would be easier it, than it does, building a it cabin. It does leak. Oh, if... Well, and yeah. Those things you can't work with. Oh, okay. This is the way they're built. Oh, okay. They're built from the inside out. Mm -hmm. You can't rip out the inside and then... You know, oh, I see. I mean. It's kind of... Oh, okay. Okay. Oh well, it might be if if it's easier to make new cabins then whatever. It'd be easier to tear the whole thing apart and just build something new. Oh okay. Like a cabin with wood uh -huh. on on the frame. Oh okay okay, that that works too. It'd be more fun. Look to look, there's butterflies. Oh, lots us. of butterflies. Lots of butterflies. That's yeah. great. They're everywhere. Yeah. I guess we should talk about nature more. Okay sure yeah yeah, yeah so you got uh, um Queen Anne's lace here yeah. yeah. So, well, I guess they're growing soybeans there, so this soil yeah. should be pretty good as well. Oh, there's well, grasshoppers. Yeah, lots of grasshoppers. Mm -hmm. Over there, if bees. you yeah. really want to grow stuff there, you can. But the only, in the spring, that gets really soft because the runoff from from that forest mm -hmm. water. So where that where the R, where the RV is, okay, it's where well, the RV is actually sunken into the ground. I shouldn't oh, have I put see. it there because it's really hard to get out now. Oh, I see. Because of the moisture there. So oh, I, see. I was thinking of making like a. Like a pond there to oh. gather the water, so okay. it, so it doesn't okay. go over here in the spring. So oh, it okay. keeps this because usually it goes over here. Yeah, it goes over here. I had somebody get stuck there. Oh, okay, okay. In the spring, because okay. it was kind of wet this spring too. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it was very so, wet this spring. So this is why I use this path. This mm -hmm. is, so anywhere here, pond, you can find it easily. Mm -hmm. More towards the fence line. Oh, I guess the. Uh, Farm feels smell like manure right now, eh? Can you smell it? Well, it's, right now it's not bad. Oh, that's not bad, that's eh? That's not bad. No. <laughs> okay. Like, sometimes it's so bad, you, you breathe it in. Oh my god. You, 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 it goes right into your lungs. Oh no. Yeah. So, yeah. depends where the, which direction the wind's blowing, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. It's just a little bit. Oh, that's a big field. Oh, yeah. yeah. When I first got it, it was a hay. Oh, it's a hay field? Yeah, the, the neighbor, he, he took the, his field, so he, he took care of this uh, as well. Oh, okay. So, okay. so it, it has been taken care of. And then for a while, I had it rented to this guy. Mm -hmm. It just matched whatever they put in, he put oh. it in here. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, which I didn't like. Oh, he didn't okay. didn't give me very much money. And, okay. You know, and, and I didn't like that he used to buckles and all that. Oh right, yeah, yeah. So what is it now? Just just wildflowers? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I see lots of goldenrod. Yeah. Yeah. I do, I do mow back there mm -hmm. because I I have uh, campers here. Okay. Uh, one campsite is there, and one is back there. Okay. Uh, I'll show you on the way back. Mm -hmm. So I like to uh, keep them far apart. Right? Okay. Yeah. I had one guy here, he, he came here up here to meditate. He was here for four days. Four days. All by himself with uh, with his dog. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. So, mm -hmm. so that's all we, that's what I've been trying to attract here is people that just want to relax. Nice. And, yeah. 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 Yeah, well uh in terms of foraging, I guess uh Shrubs, you know, for different kinds of berries and oh, oh yeah, yeah. nuts and stuff like well, that. Well, there is foraging in the forest. Oh, and there's foraging in the forest, eh? There's all kinds of stuff in there, which oh okay. Which I really, I know some of them. Oh, I know okay. that there's lots of uh, um, ramps. Mm -hmm. 
wild leeks in Ooh. May. I can, I can uh, okay. there's quite a few of them. And there's fiddleheads there too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, it's just, I know this hedgerow is, uh, is a great, has a lot of potential. Yeah. You know, to add in more... To add in more stuff to forage? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sure. I mean... Can, more grapes over there. Like oh, okay, great. Can, can, uh... Because I know you can have... If you do your planting right, then uh, yeah. you, you can have well, berries from, like... I was told that along this... Uh, June till line, October. I put in uh, Jerusalem artichokes. Those are good, too. For, for privacy. Oh, okay. Yeah, those, they're, yeah, they're a good privacy screen. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh... But yeah, you could you could also just do shrubs, yeah, like sure. berry shrubs. There's lots of room to experiment with different things here. Mm -hmm. sure. So you said they there were hawthorns here. Are those? I don't know. They don't look like they have thorns. Those are the ones. Those are the ones. Down there. Oh, okay. Are good too. Oh, there's like sunflower potatoes and uh, sea buckthorn, raspberries. Yeah, I, the sea buckthorn, I was I was really wanting to get into that. Oh yeah, I got I got a bunch extra, so I oh, can yeah? give you some. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, they spread like well, like weeds. <laughs> oh, do they? Yeah, yeah. But how long does it take before they actually it's spread? Fruit? Uh, fruit. Fruit? Oh, yeah. um, a few years. All oh, right. Like three, maybe. Sure. And you can put them anywhere, pretty much. Yeah, but yeah. Well, you, they need they need direct sun. Okay. They don't like the shade. Um, yeah. But otherwise, they're, they, yeah. Pretty much anywhere, and they're a nitrogen fixer. All right. So they will help um, other things grow afterwards. So, so this spot here, I was thinking, this is a good place for like a retreat. Mm -hmm. it's right, it's pretty flat, and uh, it's private. You're okay. far away from everything. So like I mean, so so like you mean like a gathering? A gathering. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Like with like tents and maybe like a campfire or something. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's cool. So there I, I had it seeded a while ago. That's that's grass, grass, right? Mm-hmm. But I used to mow it all. Okay. Like from there on, but then I stopped mowing it all. I left that there. Okay. Because I wanted kind of. Campsite is right behind. This grass, tall grass area. Or wild, wild flower area. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So then I'm thinking maybe I'll start planting some things there. This mm -hmm. is a fallen tree. That oh, I never okay. got around to cutting up. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you, you know that that also has its own habitat. Uh, yeah. Creates. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. That one is dead. Oh, okay. Come down. Like I said, it also creates habitat. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does too. You, you, you could, uh, well, it, it depends on how long it's been dead, but it, it well, might it's be possible. it's been dead for about two years. Two years. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. It might be too late to inoculate it with mushrooms now. The main thing is oh. just to uh, yeah, make sure it doesn't fall over. That's why I want to cut it down. Yeah, okay. Well, well, in make that case, then it could be worthwhile. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it is kind of near the path. Yeah, it yeah. is. Mm -hmm. I saw uh, a blue heron on, on that tree. Oh, on this one? Yeah. Oh, nice. It was in the pond, and, and uh -huh. when I approached the pond, it flew to that tree and just stayed there and watched me. Oh, that's cool. Is the and pond around it, here somewhere? After that, it died. Oh, no. Yeah. That's the pond is, is over there. Oh, okay. so we'll, we'll walk around. Do you know why it died? It was already dying. Oh, it was already. I think it might be an ash tree. It's ash. Yeah. Oh, you mean the tree died? The I thought you died. meant the heron no, died. No, not the heron. No, no. <laughs> oh my god! I said at the time I remember seeing the blue heron on there, and the tree was fly alive, right? Oh, that. But after, oh, the tree was still the, alive. Oh. After that, the tree died. Oh, okay, okay. So I, was, I don't know. If okay, that, that was to do with it. But. Okay, that was totally different. Yeah, no, no, I don't think no, it no, had. No, any not, not the blue heron. No, no. Okay, no. okay, good. I saw that blue heron twice. <laughs> oh, okay, that's yeah. cool. So you've seen him since, right? Or no, I haven't seen him since. No. Oh, okay. Well, all right then. But there was a, 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 a cow that died here, a bull. Oh, okay. It died right there. And oh, that's no. why I don't cut that. Oh, I see. Okay. Because the bones are still there. Oh, okay. But it died a while ago, so the bones are all dried up. Oh, okay. And I do have uh, the skull over here. I'll, I'll show you where, okay. where it is. But uh, these are the black walnuts. Yeah, nice. You planted them. I planted these 
I don't know, a while ago. Yeah. They were really small when I planted them like that. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah doing so, good. so uh, yeah, if if you if we get some from Grimo Nut Nursery, then yeah, that might have been. Can gra I graft on the uh, the ones that make the big walnuts. Yeah. Because uh, regular black walnuts, uh, like the wild ones, mm -hmm. they often have very little flesh. It's mostly wood. Oh, so these are the wild ones? Well, probably. Where did you get them? I got them online. I, it might have been the same place. Oh, okay. Well, then they might be good then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought you may, may, may have uh, found them uh, somewhere no, and no, transplanted no, no. them. That's when I, I think it was the first year I got my place. That's when I... Oh, okay. It was an 04. Yeah. There's, oh, okay. there's a few more over here, I think. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, black walnuts are a good one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the skull is over there. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, wow, that's big. Yeah. I didn't know uh, cows had such large skulls. Oh, yeah, it was a big, uh, big bull. I saw it three times. Oh, it was a big bull. First time I got, was afraid of it. It was uh -huh. over there by the pond. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to charge me, but it didn't do anything. Oh, okay. Second time I saw it over here, and yeah. it's teetering on his hind legs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the third time I saw it over there, dead. Really? Well, yeah. it, was it the farmers? Yeah, I asked around. Oh, okay. Uh, then I found out that a lot of farmers, what they do is when they when they have a sick uh, cow, or they just let it go. Oh, I so that see. That way they don't have to pay to get rid of it. Oh, I see. Right? Let it wander off and die. Oh, okay. So that's what happened. Probably will happen, yeah. Yeah. So no one's going to claim it's there, right? Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Oh, so uh, these are uh, dewberries, I think. Are they? Yeah, probably. This, this is what they look like. This is probably my favorite spot back here. Mm -hmm. relaxing. I, I see a lot of does back here. Okay. And this is where I, I harvest my wild leeks and ramps. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Do they taste like onions? Yeah, better than onions. It tastes like between a cross between onions and garlic. Oh, okay. Really strong. Oh, okay. You, you can eat the whole thing. Oh, all right. leaves and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm taking you over to where the brook is. Oh, okay. Okay. But it's probably dried up right now. Oh, all right. So it's seasonal? Yeah, it's seasonal. Mm -hmm. So, and, and back here in the corner, it's a, a, a vulture nesting ground. Oh, okay. The vulture's nest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I spent a lot of time back here in the spring. Mm -hmm. I, I cleared this path for this thing. Oh, okay. It's hard to get through here. Yep. Yeah, well, you know, uh, the more feet there are uh, to walk the path, the uh, yeah. more path-like it's it becomes. It, it's all dried up. Oh, okay. It's right here. Oh, okay. Well, it's just still a bit soggy. Yeah. In the yeah. spring, it's all the way up to there. Like it's like. Oh, the water. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you can hear it running. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, do you know? Did you have it tested? Or is it? You mean like drinkable? Yeah. Well, or do you know where it's coming from? I was told there's a spring over there. There's a spring over there. But I haven't been able to find it. Oh, okay. Is it on your property? Or? Yeah, it's on my property, yeah. Oh, the spring, you mean? Yeah. Well, that would be a worthwhile uh, thing to find eventually. And and, and to, to stop this wouldn't be a big deal. I could stop this from going. Because it, it goes into the neighbor's field, which uh -huh. is tiled. So I'm sure they really don't want it to go in their field anyway. Oh, okay, okay. So I don't mm -hmm. see any complaints if I was to yeah. slow it down. Oh, okay. Which okay. I'm trying to do. I have some areas there that have, like, rocks and stuff. Oh, okay. So you so, you could get it to, like, fill a pond or something. Yeah, like if, like, like this area here, I could I could fill up, like, dig, mm -hmm. stop it over there, and this would be, like, a little pond here. Mm -hmm. Or over there. Actually, over there is better. Oh, okay. Okay. That area there. Mm -hmm. See, these, these trees are marked to go down. So I got a firewood guy coming. To, oh, okay. So it's going to be thinned out a bit. Nice. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice grove. Yeah. But he's just taking the ash trees, right? Oh, okay. The ash trees are dying. So. Oh, I see. So there's a lot of uh, maple back here that can take over and, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. do well. So. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So, like I was saying, like if you really want to walk 
deep into the forest. There's lots of walking that way, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that would but take us hours. Pro I probably need uh, another uh, yeah. shoes. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. Yeah. We were like hiking, hiking boots. Oh right, hiking boots. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, my hiking boots are really warm. There's a nice maple tree for that. Oh yeah, yeah. This part of it was called the sugar bush. Sugar bush, yeah, because good. of the sugar maples? Yeah, the sugar maples, right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's evidence that this was the sugar bush. There's uh, old metal buckets and stuff they used to use for oh, okay. gathering, you know, mm -hmm, maple syrup. Yeah, yeah. Like pulleys and all that. So oh, okay. There probably was a, a sugar staff back here at one time. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, there was one time, what was it, uh, last Last year, mm -hmm. I went to this place in uh, Kimberly. I went to Kimberly. You know where Kimberly is? Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a general store there. I don't <laughs> know if you heard in the news that they were, they were bringing over uh, acorns from Sherwood Forest. Uh huh. So I got a bunch of them. And I planted them all over here. Oh, okay. Acorns. Yeah. So I got, uh, you know, oak trees. Right? Oh, okay, okay. I know uh, the best. Uh, Oak trees for edible acorns are yeah. bur oak. Bur oak, okay. I don't, I don't know what kind of they are. Mm -hmm. They were forest, but... Yeah. But it was a bucket full of uh, seeds, mm -hmm. and I just... Oh, cool. Nice. So I don't know if they're really did, did, did you, uh, like, plant them, or...? Yeah, I planted them. Okay, cool. I stuck them in the ground, yeah. yeah stuck them in the ground, yeah. yeah. I didn't just hold them out. Yeah, yeah, because that yeah. that's usually not very effective. No, no. The squirrels would just get them. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So. Now we're gonna go towards the towards the pond. Okay. Cool. So the uh, other times of year, does it smell nicer here? Yeah. This, this yeah. is the worst. Oh okay. Okay. This is the worst. Yeah. Okay. All, all summer it was it was nice. Oh, okay. Because in the summertime, they don't put anything on the field. Yeah, yeah. Because right? now they're taking everything off, so they're throwing Manures, their manure yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Sometimes they do it at night. Oh, okay. Yeah. So in the morning, you wake up to... Uh... Well, the, by the morning, it's gone. But if you're outside oh. at night, you can smell it. Oh, I see. I yeah. see. Okay. So this pond was... I, I hired a guy to do this pond. There, oh, okay. there was no pond here. Oh, okay. The reason for that is, okay, there's a trail here. Okay. And this trail goes to the other parcel of land. Okay. In total, I have 64 acres, mm -hmm. but this parcel is 51 and three quarters. Oh, okay. And there's 12 and a half behind my neighbor. Okay. Now, I own that parcel with a friend at mm -hmm. the time. Okay. Right? And there was no way to get into it. Oh, okay. So I thought, hey, I get some guy to dig a pond here. Okay. And the earth from here, you put a trail in. Oh, okay. There's a trail here that goes right to the 12 and a half acres, which is behind. Oh, because it was too wet? Is that why it was there yeah, was no access? Yeah, it was low here. It was really low. Oh, okay. So it was very muddy. Yeah, it was very... You, you couldn't use it. But now okay. you can... Well, at one point... At one time, I did drive my van all the way there. I uh -huh. could. But now it's kind of rough because it hasn't been maintained. Oh, I see. I but see. it's still walkable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, so so I see the pond. This is the pond. It's kind of low now. Mm-hmm. Usually it's a lot higher, like three feet higher. Oh wow! So it's it's sixteen feet deep. Sixteen, wow! So I can put trout in there. Oh yeah, brook cool. trout. Yeah, well, well, or at least frogs or something. Oh, there's lots of frogs already. Oh, there's already there's frogs and there's a turtle. There's a giant turtle. Oh great! There, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the frogs are not here now. Oh okay. They were here. In the spring. Yeah, all summer too. Oh okay. I don't, I don't hear them now. They're not here. Oh, okay. You got something? I think I may have stepped on some dung or something, I don't know. Oh, it yeah. shouldn't be, really. Yeah, I don't know, it's just kind of brown and... I don't know. <laughs> Might be, uh, something. It's okay, I think you got it now. I, I don't think you want to go in there, right? Uh, yeah, not right now. No. It's okay. Yeah. This, uh, the other so parcel is, is different yeah. than everything else. It's kind of a different... Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, well, we, we can check another it out time. another time. Yeah. You come, when you come with Zoe. Yeah, sure. It'll be easier to see too. To get through. Yeah, and I'll, I'll bring some hiking boots. Yeah. Or, or uh, well, I don't have rain boots, but I guess it would be a good idea. <laughs> yeah, rain boots are good. I have winter boots. That's that's the closest. But well, those are warm. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe we, yeah, we, we could do like a winter trek and then it oh, yeah. has I, a different I, I have uh, no shoes. I got view. two pairs, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. No shoeing is great around here. Oh, yeah, I bet. Oh, there's bumblebees. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I can really hear the, the leaf hoppers. Is that what they're called? Leaf, leaf hoppers? Oh, oh, there was a frog. I just saw the frog. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, there's, lots cool. of, there's lots of toads too. Mm -hmm. uh, by my place. Mm -hmm. so. Cool. So I, I really don't want to use that trail going to the back of that oh, other parcel. So oh. I have another trail I've started here. Oh, okay. But I have all these projects that I've started, mm -hmm. but they're massive projects, right? Right, right. So I have the idea, and I, I want to start. You know, starting is a hard part. Oh, well, well, f I, I always think finishing is the hard part. <laughs> well, finishing, you never finish. Oh, right. <laughs> it's ongoing. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't even think about finishing. I just start. Oh. You know? oh, okay. So is this the so, other? So this is the other one. But you, I started with a corduroy road. I have, I have fill in there and I have, but you can't see it because there's grass, right? Co corduroy? Quarter, like logs. Oh, okay. I put in logs. Uh huh. So you just line them up. Oh, okay. Like okay. That. Uh huh. And then you, you can drive over it with a tractor. Oh, okay. Or okay. I can dump soil on it. So they cut, that's the old way of doing roads because when they cut pine trees, mm -hmm. uh, they wanted to make paths in the forest. Oh, okay, the okay. easiest thing to use was the trees themselves. Right, right. So you just throw them down, mm -hmm. you fill in the ruts, the bogs okay. and all that, and mm -hmm. you drive over it. Oh, okay, cool. So that's nice. what I'm doing, right? Awesome, yeah. yeah just I know uh, Corduroy is also a beloved child, uh, children's book character. It's a oh, little it's, bear it's, with oh, green right. overalls. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, apparently, it also is a type of road. I think I don't know why they name it corduroy because corduroy pants maybe because they're lined up or the lines in corduroy oh, pants. Oh yes, that, right? yes, that's probably it. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. So yep. up, up here, I'm going to show you a magical place. Oh okay, sure. Actually, Beatrice thinks it's magical. Right? Beatrice is my, my girlfriend. From oh, okay, Mexico. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She says, "Don't let anybody touch that place." Oh okay, all right. So. so that's cool. And it's right next to the the uh, farm dump. There's a dump there. Oh, I see. I see. Where they, where they threw everything. So there's mostly bottles there. Oh, okay. Like Welsh grape, grapefruit, grape juice bottles. Oh, I see. And, Are they uh, glass or glass? Yeah, glass. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I found some metal things. They're mm -hmm. kind of interesting. Oh, okay. So there's probably all kinds of. If you keep digging, who knows oh, what you'll find there? Who knows? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this was, would have been uh, too much for the kids to walk. <laughs> yeah, they would have got tired. Yeah, yeah. Or bored. Or bored. Yeah, more more, more like bored, bored yeah. yeah. Than anything else. It is pretty hot back here. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's amazing. And it's uh, almost, you know, middle of well, uh, yeah. well, October. This, second this week. place has its own little climate. Yeah. Like a little island. Yeah. Even in the wintertime. Like I'm here in the wintertime and it doesn't there's no snow at all. Oh it's really? beautiful and calm. Uh -huh. I go down my driveway and I just go down the road. All of a sudden it's a big blizzard. Oh wow. It's snowing and there's wind and you can't see anything. Wow. Because it just blows right over. Yeah. Yeah, I think the trees help. Yeah, the trees help. Yeah. yeah. But plus I'm up high too, right? Yeah. So yeah, if, yeah. if you go that way, it's mm -hmm. it's down, right? If you mm -hmm. go that way it's it's almost it's just a little down. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. in the wintertime I just go that way. So do you know what the hardiness here is? What, what do you mean the hardiness? The hardiness zone. Because I know usually like the higher you go... Oh, you mean like grows? Like as in what's the lowest temperature oh. in the coldest night of the winter? Well, people will tell me around here that it's gotten a lot warmer. Mm -hmm. It used to be like really, really cold Yeah, yeah. here and there was a lot more snow. Yeah. Because I have a friend that comes up here hunting and he, he's been coming up here for almost 30 years and he says mm -hmm. that he used to come up here for jackrabbits right oh okay and now there is no more jackrabbits oh really 
Because jackrabbit is like really high snow. Oh, I see. So. Oh, okay. There's not enough snow for them. Not enough snow. Well, well the environment, right? Mm -hmm. Climate change. Climate change, yeah. It's happening. Yeah. I've talked to a lot of people up here that they say it's, you know, there's a big difference. Mm -hmm. They've been here for a long time. Yeah. And some places they never ice over, like some lakes. Oh, okay. You know, bodies of water. Mm -hmm. And they used to all the time. Well. Well. And they don't, so. Yeah, so I guess that, that that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Well, last winter was <laughs> more okay, like... Can you hold this? I just got this mic. What was last winter? It was more rain and then snow and then it was just like a sheet of ice around my place. Oh, wow. There was probably a couple of inches thick of ice. And once oh. it freezes over, you can't do anything with it. Yeah, yeah. So it felt like an ice rink. Oh, oh, where? Around my uh, building there. Oh, okay. You know. Wow. Yeah. Yeah? Most of the time I just drove right over everything. Oh, okay. The ice, you mean? Snow and everything. Snow and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Because so, it just, you know, it gets so wet and damp, you can't move it, you can't lift it, you can't blow mm -hmm. it. It's just yeah, like, yeah. It's a slush. Yep. Well, as long as it's not, you know, too much of an inconvenience. It was okay last winter, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm better prepared this winter. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> but you never know. Right? Mm -hmm. I'll show you the magical place. Sure, sure. It's just over here. Yep. See these, these cedar trees here? Okay. I opened this up here. Oh. Mm -hmm. open here yeah. I really love cedar trees. Okay, yeah. That's the way it feels when you're in the middle of them, right? It's kind of, the air changes. It's just, it's cooler, it's kind of, it feels cleaner and... Mm -hmm. It's so nice. I, I trimmed all, all these down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, if you go towards here... Uh, this tree we found that has... Certain times of year, you touch this, this moss here, mm -hmm. and it changes color when you, when you go over it. Oh yeah? There's colors that come out of it. Oh, okay. I think it might be too dry right now. Yeah, it was too dry. But, but there's like, like a rainbow color. You just put your hand over it, right? Oh, really? Wow. And all these colors just kind of uh, glow out of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So. That's cool. Yeah. There's this, there's this big pine tree and then there's a big oak tree there. Oh, nice. Which I always... Mm -hmm. I love the feel of this place. There's an oak tree, there's a pine tree. Mm -hmm. And there's all these cedars here, right? Yeah. There's another pine over there, too. Yeah. And then you have, this is the farm dump over here. You oh, see okay. some, some bottles there. Oh, okay, okay. So there's a lot of hawthorns growing there. I've, I've cut a few of them out. There's a few more to cut out there. Mm. These ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do they have berries? Mm. Does it look like they have berries? Well, I, they they're, usually have berries all, earlier all in the in the summer. Yeah, they're all gone. Yeah, yeah. 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 And this is kind of a spot where the water comes this way. So it's higher over there, right? Mm -hmm. And there's a, like in the spring, this is all, you can't even go into the field because there's so much water there. Oh, okay. So it's kind of a meeting area of the forests. Oh, okay, okay. So you got this forest, you got that forest, you got the field, uh -huh. and all the water's coming here. And I'll show you what I'm trying to do over here. Okay. So I, I had a, uh, somebody recommended to me that I call Ducks Unlimited. Ducks? Ducks Unlimited. I'm not sure what that's it's about. It's a federal program it's run by the federal government. Okay. It's uh, to promote ducks. Oh, okay. Because we want wildlife for ducks. And what, what do ducks need? Water. They need water, right? Right, right. So, duck pond right mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So it's, but it's, a, it's amazing that like when we were in there, there was like no smell. Yeah, And then I know. we came out here that's and what it I mean. smells that's manure again. It's cedars, it's just filters everything, Yeah, right? yeah, it's amazing. So, so this would be a duck pond. Mm -hmm. Duck pond is not that deep, it's maybe three feet at the most. Oh, there. okay, okay. So it's just for two ducks. Mm -hmm. They just, they come here every spring, they lay their eggs in the grass, uh -huh. and they take off and the pond dries out. Oh, wow, yeah. It, yeah. it doesn't, so. It's also good for amphibians. Yeah, amphibians too. Mm -hmm. so, uh, mm -hmm. I've already started with it. Yeah. Right now I don't have the sponge. Oh, okay. Because the water comes down from there. Oh, okay. Right? And and here it gets all muddy. And you can't go this way in the spring. 
You have to oh, go okay. that way. Oh, okay. So I've tried to direct the water this way. Oh, okay, okay. So it's, it's a bit of a... Mm -hmm. That's a start a anyway. traffic here because there's a lot of rocks there. Mm -hmm. Nothing needs to be removed. There's this spot. So I'm trying to work on... This is another project. Cool. So I cool. need a backhoe, basically, to move oh, yeah. the rocks. And, yeah, yeah. Well, but I have, well, the layout, started it. I have the layout for the pond. Mm -hmm. You gave me a, a detailed drawing mm -hmm. and what to, where to dig and how deep to dig and even the shape of it, because it has to be a certain shape. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's one thing I would like to do. So, okay. so that would take you instead of going this way, which you, you wouldn't be able to because the water would be, you'd have to go that way uh -huh. to get into the field. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's all. Wow. Yeah. So that would make even that place even more private then. Yeah. Kind of thing. Wow. Oh, do you, do you have a top view plan of uh, your of, house? Of the land? Of the land, yeah. Well, if you go to Google Earth, you'll... Oh, okay. I also do have it on paper somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. just just thinking because um, for the campground cooperative, yeah, like it, only it, it, half... Now that we're here, what okay. would you suggest to, to have, like, uh, so, like, you said like an acre of land for... So it's a hectare. A uh, hectare, that's about, what, two and a half acres? Two and a half acres, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 2.2. 2. 2. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was just thinking. Well, yeah, it would be easier to see it if on your actual, like, on the yeah. plan, kind well, of. It's, uh, it's it's pretty easy to really visualize too. Oh, okay. okay. The, the main parcel is rectangular, right? Okay. And then you have the semicircle field. Okay. And then you have a forest there. Right? Okay. And and so so this is a separate so, forest here. This is. So are we kind of in a rectangle right now? Yeah, this is a rectangle. And are we at the? But, but the, the thing that throws you off is because. Uh, you're curving around this road, right, right? Right. Instead of going straight, so if you go straight, it would go straight that way, mm -hmm. and this would be right. It would Far be off. this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, cause it curves this way and then this way, so it's kind of like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's kind of confusing, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I, w I was thinking, like, yeah, basically. Yeah, it would, it would still be easier to do it if, yeah, we, well, if we have well, the paper version. I'll, sh I'll show it. I, yeah. I have to look for it then. Yeah. yeah. So then you I'll, can show me where the field is. I'll, or, I'll or we could check on Google Earth. Yeah, you can check on Google yeah. Earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you, that this part of the land here is not really that usable. It's really wet and damp here. And, oh, okay. And rocky. Like, okay. So, okay. But, so, but this side is, is the, good? This side is good, yeah. Okay. okay. Over here, the majority of trees are pine and oak. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So this forest is obviously much older than this one. Right, right. right? So. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. The, because this one was the one that was machine planted, right? Well, this was too, but the, the consultant told me that this was done right because they planted oak trees in the middle of the pine trees. Oh, okay. So the oak trees are going straight up. Oh, I see. Which is the, what, you, what you want, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But these were just planted pine trees oh, by okay. machine. And if you walk through it, there's these big, um, you know, tracks from the machines that went through. Oh, okay. So you're walking through and all of a sudden you fall into there. Oh, one of the tracks. Yeah, one of the tracks. Oh, I see. I and see. It, it doesn't feel natural when you walk through there. Oh, I see, I see. Where that one, you know, uh -huh. it's come to a point where... Where it feels more natural. It's doing well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. But this one I just got thinned out, so from now on it's going to start to blossom. Okay, okay. To move, to become healthier. And, mm hmm mm hmm yeah. Cause yeah, I know on your property there's enough room for uh, two campground cooperatives. Cause you said you have yeah. the 60 acres uh, or the 64 acres, which is yeah. 24 hectares, and the maximum size for a campground is 12 hectares in in this riding. I mean, in this municipality. Okay. So uh, could probably start with one, and then uh, basically people would have their own kind of. A little section, their own little hectare, yeah. uh, to do their own kind of projects, and then there would be kind of a central kind of meeting area. Yeah, which is which I'm getting to right now. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, you, you see how this is this is the main path to mm -hmm. the property, right? Right. And then I have this other path that I I just did that one. Mm -hmm. The main path that goes right to the building, and so this is kind of the, the crossroads. Mm -hmm. Right? This would be the place for the meeting, a building to, to meet or to, oh, okay. Okay. You know, to, to connect. Mm -hmm. Maybe there yep. or here, but I think there is better because it's higher ground, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, 
Most so we, likely to get wet. Yeah, so we can walk this way. Then okay. come back and get, you're, you're okay with walking, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, this, this path we, we cut, me and this guy that was living here, we cut it um, last year. Okay. We, I marked Oh, them. this is nice. Yeah. This is really nice. It smells better here too. <laughs> yeah, it smells much better. And there is apple trees here. I'll, I'll show you as oh, we okay. walk through. Really good mm -hmm. apples too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Moulin. So. Hmm? Moulin. That's a moulin. Is that, was that edible? Uh, I think so. I'm just not 100% sure in, in what which way. way. Yeah. 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 Well, I do have a lot of books on the subject. Mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. haven't really gotten into it. Yeah. Yeah, they also tend to grow in disturbed soil. So. They, oh, you got an apple. That's a nice, yeah. oh, nice here. apple. This is where, Oh, those are these. That's the apple tree. Oh, okay. That's one of them. They, these are amazing apples. But right now, they're yeah. not that good. They're overripe. Oh, okay, okay. So I got all those. But those. Those look like good apples. They're really good apples. So yeah, I got all these bug. marked because I want to cut them to, uh -huh. have, to promote the apple tree. Oh, right, right, right. right. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's another apple tree down that way. Oh, okay. And there's... One there, another one over there, another one there. So there's five all together. Okay. Well, that one over there in the path, that mm -hmm. fell over oh. uh, this summer, but it's still, the roots are still on the ground. Oh, okay. So, so it'll just because come It was out. funny because I, I was coming up to it and I saw the apples in the tree, but it was so high. Uh -huh. I'm thinking, how am I going to pick those apples? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One day it fell. Oh, okay. I could pick them all. Oh, nice. And the tree is still rooted. Yeah. It's still fine. Oh, okay. It's actually better than it was. Oh, wow. But because it got the trees around it got taken down, uh -huh. it it went crazy with the apples. With the oh, okay. so many apples grew, right? Oh, okay. It got too heavy in it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 one of the things I was thinking about. Is that if you yeah. take out all those trees? Yeah, but but that one there is straight up. That that okay. one was leaning over. Oh, I see. It was already leaning yeah, over. Yeah, that one is straight up. Oh, okay. And plus those trees there, it's not going to be as wide as that area there mm -hmm. because there's still trees around. That are still protecting it, right? Mm -hmm. So that one is totally open because there was trees there all the way to here, mm -hmm. and now they're all been, you know, look at all the trees that have been taken out here. Right? Yeah, 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 so, yeah. You really cleared this out, yeah. Because there already was a clearing here. Oh, right? okay. That was clear, mm -hmm. and somebody suggested make the clearing bigger because uh -huh. it's better for the forest. Oh, okay. The light yeah. gets in, mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. grow, right? Right, right. So. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Do you, do you have much deers here or anything oh, yeah. like that? Lots of deers. Oh, okay. Lots of, well, turkeys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because, uh, well, they're supposed to, like, help maintain fields y yeah. and stuff. Uh, like, the main thing is to, like, plant stuff that uh, they like, I guess. <laughs> this is everything yeah. here they like. They, yeah, yeah. This is the other campground. Oh, I okay. Mean. Oh, yeah, it's got yeah. those chairs. Yeah. So, so, here, I guess we can check it out. Sure. Mm -hmm. This is usually where I come in the morning mm -hmm. and I cut branches because see in that forest over there beside the campsite. Oh, okay. It's kind of, it's really nice in there. Mm -hmm. So I trim the, the branches off the pine tree, mm -hmm. which is beneficial for the trees and, and whatever else is growing around them. So, so, so th th this, this was this left like, like a good th what happened here is yeah. this was uh, taken as gravel. This oh, okay. is actually a gravel pit here. Oh, I see. So it was. So no, nothing ever grew here, and down there it's even lower. Oh, okay. So they took gravel out of here. Oh, I see. So I don't know how big the gravel pit it actually is, but mm -hmm. but I don't want to get into that. Kind okay. Of stuff anyway. Okay. So, so that's why it's open. Mm -hmm. So the soil here is not really that great for pine. It's just it's a lot of gravel, right? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's some stuff that will grow on rocky stuff, but it, as a yeah. campground, it's it's, it's fine. As a campground, it's great. yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's great to have some meadows. I was considering putting the house here. Is one of my ideas. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah, because it's it's open to the south, and you can put panels. And, oh yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It's very so. sunny here. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay, we we can walk this way, or we can go the other way. Go the other way. Yeah. Okay. That, sure. That's the way we came. Okay. Okay. Go to the building. Okay. Cool. So is this the apple tree that fell over? No, it's the other one behind it. Oh, okay. That one is just draping over. I'm going to trim it. Okay. Not too much. Mm -hmm. 
So when I first got the place, I couldn't even walk into this place. Oh yeah, because so dense. Yeah. Branches were overlapping each other. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you walk in, you're just fighting branches constantly, right? Yep. And this friend of mine, the guy from Mexico, he came. He, he had some experience with. Uh, he oh, you just cut the branches, get these saws and cut them. Mm -hmm. So we started doing that. We made some trails. Yeah, nice. Right, and then then it grew from there. I Great. just kept making trails, and I, I had my son living here for about a year. Uh huh. And oh, he was nice. doing. He was cutting. Oh, this so was this, the one that fell over. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. And it's see? still in the ground, eh? Yeah, it's still in the ground. Wow. There's a root sticking up there, but I think I could put some soil on it. Oh, okay. Even Perfect. if I cut it, it'll still be okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. See, and now they're going to grow <laughs> off the trunk too, right? So you got these growing. Oh, right, right, right. That that is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, I, I trimmed it right down when mm -hmm. it fell because I couldn't even get through it, right? Oh, okay. So, and look at now, you, you can actually see if you can try one, sure. Yeah. They're probably overripe. I, I got some in the fridge if you want to try them. Some crispy ones. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It's, it's overripe, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's a bit mealy. Yeah. So there's lots of things to do here. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, even these trails, I was thinking. Oh, th of, this, this is beautiful, you know, with the pine yeah. leaves all over the place. Yeah. So I was thinking of attacking these trails. Mm hmm. You know, what you do is you take the branches and you put them on one side, you get the logs and you put them on the other side, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, I have a chipper come along and you chip the branches. The logs, you put them in the loader and you take them and use them as fill. Mm -hmm. Corduroy roads or whatever, or you can use them for campfire. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. But most of them are probably just going to rot away right. because I'll never get to it. This is too much, right? Right, right. But I have started one here. Well, that that is another one of the benefits of... Uh the campground cooperative is like when everyone has their own kind of little thing then they can all kind of work Contribute. together. Contribute, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Everybody has their, their, their strengths, right? Yeah. What they like to do. Because I know uh, basically without a lot of agricultural implements, yeah. uh, human can only manage about two and a half acres. Exactly. So, <laughs> so, so to give you an idea of what quarterway roads is, is that. Mm -hmm. See where I put the logs? Oh, okay, okay. So that's a, that's a low area, I just fill it in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I, I started this, I'm about halfway through. Oh, okay. And this is going to be the main, I want to make this the main road from that road, mm -hmm. coming into this area, because this is where the apple trees are and everything, so. Okay, okay. It's kind of a, a circle, kind of a. Nice. Yeah. I thought if anything, at least I'll get this done. Mm -hmm, before mm -hmm. it snows, right? Okay. So I can use it. In the winter? Yeah, in the winter or whenever. Just snow or whenever, yeah. Just yeah, get yeah. it over, you know. And I, as I go, I cut the branches on the trees on the side. Mm -hmm. you know? so sort of, yeah, yeah, it yeah. looks nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. <sighs> Love the fresh air. Oh yeah, it's really nice in here in the winter time. Mm hmm Because everything is it's easier to walk through with the snowshoes because everything, you know, you don't have to deal with any brush or anything oh okay, okay. or bugs or anything mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah i know uh yeah winter time is a great place to uh scout places out yeah things like that yeah because uh there's not as much foliage or greenery in the way exactly but, it, but mm -hmm. it's a dead quiet though oh okay. you don't hear any birds you don't hear any bugs you don't hear anything oh really so it's kind of yeah there's nothing the turkeys oh. oh okay sometimes you see a flock of turkeys oh okay like herding by mm -hmm, I was just walking by. Oh, okay. And they eat the top of these plants that are peeking out of the snow. Mm hmm That's how they survive. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. And I'll see a deer once in a while. Mm hmm So do turkey vultures eat turkeys, or do no, they, they just they, look they like eat turkeys? No, they dead turkeys. They eat dead turkeys. So, well, they call them turkey vultures because that's, I guess, their main dead bodies that they eat. But they eat, oh, okay. they eat other dead animals too oh okay i see like cats and whatever is dead on the road they'll eat it oh okay i see, I yeah. see. cool and there is a lot of them here mm -hmm. turkey vultures eh too many too many eh? But right now they're not that well many, but... well uh i mean i don't see how they could they're, be well they're good it, it depends on the amount of food that's available right 
Well, there is a lot of food available. Yeah. Then, if, then, then they're just you know doing their part to balance well, yeah. the ecology. It's good to see them. Actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. We need them, right? Because otherwise, you know, you'd smell all this rotting meat. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 So I'm sure see, they probably seeing, help with that bowl, right? Yeah, and seeing them, you you, you see that there's a balance. Yeah. Yeah. So this is where the, that guy that was living here. Was oh, living. okay. Uh -huh. I was next to the building there. I I dragged it over here. Oh, okay. It okay. was just an eyesore over there. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. I don't know what am I gonna do with it? So. Is it still operable inside, or? Yeah, it's pretty filthy. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, you want to take a look? Sure, we might as well. But I'm planning on gutting it. I need to use it as a retail store of some kind. Maybe a, like a variety store or something. Or oh, I see. It's got a campground. A Stove and it was a smoker, so it smells like cigarettes. Yeah, it does. It does. Oh, this has got the propane. And he, he did his own little renovation there with the drywall that got all moldy. Oh, the drywall got moldy. Yeah, it's got mold on it. So no, we're gonna have to rip it out, I guess. I'm gonna throw bleach on it and rip it out. I'm gonna rip everything yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Just leave the shell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is how he heated it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess if it well, works. Well, he almost died a couple of times. Yeah. Really, from, from the, the cold. Smoke. Oh, from the smoke. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why uh, I, I asked him to leave. Oh, I okay. thought he wouldn't make it this winter. He was here two winters. Oh, okay, okay. You know, he was... Well... I see. Yeah, well, yeah, you don't want him to die on you. Well, that guy's a bit of a drinker, right? So he's, Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if he's not keeping his, track. His senses aren't all there. Yeah, the... Uh, I know the, the flu it has to... You know, be more up. <laughs> yeah, he he. But that's the way his mind worked. He just oh, okay. he, he was. Where's the shortest person. shortest axis? And then he just thought he knew it all, so he oh, would just do his own thing. Yeah, well, which is that's where right? the humility comes in. Exactly. He didn't have any of that. No, so okay. I got tired of him. Oh, okay. Oh well. So yeah, this is the house or the well, building. Well, uh, and there's a shed over there. Remember, I was telling you about this building, right? Maybe okay. you, you turn the camera off when you oh. go inside. Okay, sure, yeah. sure, okay. Yeah. Want to go inside, all right. Do you want to just have a peek? Yeah, 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 sure. But here, well, this is a, I'm trying to clean up the place, right? Okay, okay. So I've, mm -hmm. I've been sorting my trash out. Okay, well that's good. So, and this was an old trailer that I was I had a long time ago. So mm -hmm. I took everything off of it. Oh, okay. So, so you think you're putting a tiny home tiny on home it or on something it. else? Yeah. Right now I'm going to use it to, to transport this wood. Oh, okay. Wood, and I'm going to use it. I don't want to leave it there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put it on this so I can move it around where I need it. Oh, okay. So that I makes might, sense. You know, because I want this to work in the shop. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. want to build some things out of it. Yeah. Some barn doors or something. Mm -hmm. I, was, I worked as a carpenter in Toronto, right? Oh, okay. So I got loads of tools. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. So nice. most of my tools are in there. Oh, okay. That's my. Tool set. My tool set, yeah. Okay. Well, so I'm, I'm finishing it off. I'm putting a wall in the door. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. And it's got a light? Yeah, I just have to plug it in. Oh, okay. Okay. So I got some grocery shelves over there, the grocery store that I got all my materials mm -hmm. back there, right? And oh, okay. So it's a process. I've been trying to organize it and I yeah. want to get rid of a lot of stuff. Too. Cool. Well, it's good. It, it, it's got some order to it. Yeah, it's got, I, I can find things. Yeah, that's the important part. Yeah. So. Yeah, I have a label maker if you want. Oh, I have one of those too. Oh, okay. So you can just put yeah. labels on the little cubbies and stuff. Well, what, what I find is uh, things when I put them in, I put them in these clear uh, containers mm -hmm. so you can see what's inside. Right, right. Labels don't work for me. Oh, okay. Well. I, I just look at it and say, oh, that's what's inside. Okay. And, and, I, and I categorize it as to, you know, the same place. Electrical, electrical, all in one box. Oh, okay. So if okay. I see something electrical, then I know that's, it oh, might okay. be in there. Oh, okay. Right? I have several categories for electrical. Yeah. Well, several labels. Like there's AC electric, DC electric. Oh, I don't get that. Uh, PCBs and USB. And, well, yeah, but, it's because I have an but, IT business. But yours so. is more is more detailed, smaller, yeah. right? Yeah. Like yeah. I'm electrical, I'm talking about uh, oh. AC. Oh, okay. Like house electric, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. So I yeah. put that in the AC electric drawer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's, the, that's the charging station over there. Oh, the, the solar panel? Yeah. Okay, let's let's have a look at that. That's my little garden. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, the, the tomatoes. Yeah, look Those at are them. some huge tomatoes. You, you want a couple? Sure, sure. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. let's try some of these. 
cherry tomatoes. Well, a lot of them are cracked open, but... Uh, uh, well, maybe there's... They still taste good. Yeah, but this one is not. Yeah. So, so these are sweet peppers. Mm -hmm. I got these... These three plants I got from the Mennonites. So this one here is a sweet pepper. Mm. That one there is Hungarian hot pepper. Mm -hmm. And that one is a hybrid tomato that they put, they made themselves. It's like a... So they, they created this. Like a beef steak, but yeah, like... Yeah, but they're, they're beautiful tomatoes. Actually, I had so many of them that I dehydrated them. Uh -huh. And I stuck them in olive oil, garlic, and oregano. Oh. Wow. So... You can have another one of these. Sure. Oh, they're great. Have mm -hmm. as many as you want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got, well, I had a lot of, uh, well, that's the zucchini. They got, mm -hmm. I got too many of them. And Whoa, that's huge. Yeah. You want it? Can you use it for something? Uh, I don't know. That no. was well, there was big. one person that came here that grabbed three of them. What, what's this? It's a chestnut. Oh. I got that from my backyard in Toronto. Well, but it, 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 is this a horse chestnut, though? I'm not sure. I think it might be a horse chestnut. So what does that do? So, well, it might be edible, but, um... Do you have to cook them? Oh yeah, that's I don't know. Okay. Yeah, and they, they grow huge. Oh, they get really big. Yeah, yeah, it's a canopy tree. That's good. This is a good spot for it. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it'll well, be a while before it gets huge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's just, just there's there's uh, more uh, there's other nuts that I prefer like. Oh yeah. <coughs> hickories or walnuts or. You know, well, I just kind of brought this here because mm -hmm. it, it grew in my backyard. And oh yeah, but you know what? You, you can always just add another one. It, it's just uh, yeah, if, if you're adding doing the canopy trees next to your yeah. house, then yeah, you, you just gotta you know, real, well they're they're gonna fall and that kind of stuff as long as you're okay with that. I mean the leaves and everything. Well, um, also the the nuts. Oh, I don't care about that. This well, like as long as there's no parked cars. <laughs> well, there is over there. That's a parking spot there. Oh. Okay. But by the time that gets there, it'll be like twenty years. Yeah, yeah, probably. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I I usually do my forest garden plans in uh, SVG, yeah. and then I uh, see what the extent of the canopy will be, and so I know where where it will. But, but I can always going. trim it as it's growing. Yeah, that's true too. And that's direct true it or keep it low. You mm -hmm. know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but those are I'm trying to promote the the oak trees, right? Oh, okay. Those are white oak. Oh, white oak. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of them growing here. Okay. So. Yeah, could, could also put in like either some more nut trees or some berry trees, like mulberries. Yeah, mulberry. That, that's what I wanted to get. Oh yeah, trees. yeah, 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 yeah. Because they, they uh, you know, and hazelnuts. Hazelnuts will do hazelnuts. good in the understory. Well, over here, I see those are all ash trees. Mm -hmm. So this is my firewood section over here. Mm -hmm. I got my chainsaws in there and all that. I got my splitter there. So I, I plan to cut those and split them. All over here are all dying ash trees. Mm -hmm. So anything can go in there. I can, as, oh, okay. as that's cleared, I can plant things. Great, great. Yeah. So awesome. Because I want to fill it in. Because I want the privacy too, right? Yeah. So. So is this your solar panel? Yeah. Th th this is the charging station that we had at the summer folk. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, I just we just put it together kind of quick. Oh, so you know, it's for. I just got uh, these, and I with a charge controller here. Oh, okay. And and we get a couple of these, so you just plug in whatever USB, so light goes on, mm -hmm. right? And you can just charge your phone or whatever. Oh, okay, cool. Devices. And how much was it? I mean, to, to or, or to, how much do you market it as? Uh, this is the way the way it stands. Well, usually it's about fourteen hundred, one thousand four hundred. Uh huh. Like, but but this would be I would let it go for twelve hundred. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. cool. So, just the labor involved in them, and mm -hmm. there's a battery. The battery's in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The battery's worth about three hundred bucks. Oh, okay. So there's a charge controller mm -hmm. that's close to 300 as well. The panel, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. Everything. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. But cool. it works. And do do you also? Oh, you have I, on the I roof. I have a system as well on the roof. Oh, okay, okay. You, you, yeah. It's, it's it's a microfit system. Uh -huh. You know what that is? No. What is it? Microfit is where you're selling it to the grid. Oh, okay. So okay. They, they buy they buy the electricity off of you, but which which now they they've eliminated that. That program is gone. Oh, really? You can't they, sell they, it? They went too low. No, my oh. my stuff is, I'm on a contract, right? Oh, okay. 20 years. Oh, okay. So I get 54 cents a kilowatt. Oh, nice. That's and, great. Yeah. 54 cents. Yeah, 54 cents a kilowatt. So. That's huge. Yeah. 
Right now it's producing poop. It's all funny right now. Yeah. But when it reaches over there, behind those trees, then I get shade. Oh, okay. So I was debating whether or not to cut some of those, but...